It's been great. You've been great. The network has been great, but I'm retiring. And with that, David Letterman announced the end of an era. Ladies and gentlemen, here's tonight's top 10 list. His own. The 66-year-old comedian, the longest-serving late-night talk show host in television history, interviewing politicians like U.S. President Barack Obama in 2012, and then candidate for president George W. Bush a dozen years earlier, and giving stage time to global stars like U2's Bono and Katy Perry. Thousands of movers and shakers have appeared in the limelight of The Late Show. Then Thursday, in a live taping, this. In the not too, too distant future, 2015 for the love of God. Yeah. In fact, uh, Paul and I will be wrapping things up and uh, taking a hike. For audiences, the question next, who will replace Letterman? Thank you. Thanks to everybody. <laughs> I can't even think of anyone who could fill his shoes. Gee, that's a difficult question. Especially you. I've become a Chelsea Handler fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> CBS has declined any official comment, but... Albania is beating us alphabetically. We must change our name to one underscore America. Stephen Colbert at Comedy Central has been mentioned. But the Scottish-born Craig Ferguson, whose show follows Letterman's on CBS, seems unlikely, they add. For Letterman and musical director Paul Schaefer, the most important thing is what retirement means now. Is that uh, Paul and I can be married. Still cracking last laughs till the end of his reign. 32 years this year in the late night spotlight. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Ramey Innocencio.